Okay, so quick update for you guys. Um, so in my last video I was looking for Juju um, and I was a bit concerned at how she'd kind of fallen off the pace compared to where she was. Um, and I've done a little bit of googling um, and I found her story. So sorry I'm not looking at the camera but I'm reading um, Juliana's um, post right now. So it says Hi all, sorry for the silence, but out in the desert there was no firm reception. Long story short, on the second night of the race, I had to stop at the hospital in Norseman as I was blacking out, coughing and having trouble breathing. The doc didn't know what to look for, but after some tests said I had blood in my pee and my heartbeat was irregular. They wanted to keep me overnight, but I decided to keep riding as it didn't seem anything too serious. And he had been a bit painful, so I'd started taking a painkiller to manage it. And as I came on the third day, it started swelling up. My breathing got harder and my heart was doing strange things. By the time I got to Kegula outpost, I was in very bad shape. My face was swollen. I could hardly open my eyes. My head felt like it was being inflated with a bike pump. My skin was on fire and I was struggling for breath. The only thing I'm allergic to is ibuprofen and peanuts. As I had nothing with nuts, I guessed it must have something. I guessed it must have something to do with the painkillers. Turns out it was from the same family as ibuprofen, same components but four times stronger. Fortunately, the staff at the roadhouse were really cool and got me to the phone with a doctor who told them to give me cortisone. I need to medicate for a few days and get back to health, so I'm heading back to Perth. But it ain't over till the fat lady sings. I'll start over from the beginning and do it all again because I haven't come this far to go home. Don't worry, that little dot will soon be moving once again. Thanks for the concern and well wishes. I'm still alive and kicking and that's the most important thing. Also, I'm doing PR for cyclists with the road trained truckies. <laughs> okay, um, what an absolute amazing human being Juliana Burring is, aka Juju from the Indy Park race. So she's in a bad way. I've, I've had a similar thing happen to me before. Um, I had an allergic reaction to some um, uh, raw tuna fish um, prior to my vegan days. And it made me go into anaphylactic shock. It's absolutely terrifying, horrendous thing to go through. And I can't imagine um, how she was feeling out in the middle of nowhere with no assistance um, and miles away from any kind of hospital or medical medical treatment um, so yeah good on her she's a brave brave person um, but braver still she's going back to Perth to rest she's going to go back to Perth get herself together and then she's going to go at it again she's going to finish this race even though she's got to go back, she's doing like 12, 1200 kilometers at least, at least. So she's going to go back to Perth and do it all again and finish the race. Um, so if that doesn't make for an absolutely amazing human being, um, I don't know what does. And I think what's starting to emerge from watching the Indy Pack is everyone's got their personal reasons for wanting to do the race. Um, whatever they may be. Uh, Juliana's got a really, really good backstory if you take the time um, to, to click her little profile up um, on map progress and go to her website. It's a, a beautiful story. Um, but all that aside, everyone's got these kind of story and emotion that's driving them to finish this race. Um, and I guess that kind of like really runs really, really deep with some people because um, I think if it was me and something like that happened to me and I was out of contention would I go back to the beginning and start the race over knowing that I'm going to finish five or six days behind the main field would I do that? would I do that? who knows um, and I think once you start asking those questions and looking at people's motives for, for doing this race um, it kind of it kind of makes the race really special once you kind of get that kind of um, personal kind of relationship with the race and the community 
supporting the race and supporting the riders. Really, really special, really inspiring this race and it's kind of changed my kind of cycling ambitions um, and yeah not saying that I'm going to like be at the Indy Park next year but it's definitely kind of nudged me to kind of go out and have an adventure so um, thanks for watching this was just an update we'll be back tomorrow with more Indy Park and this was just kind of to let you all know how Juju is doing she's doing okay she needs to recover but she's going to be all right and we wish her a speedy recovery and all the best